Alright, so hi guys, in this video right now I'm going to show you on how to uh, stream 24-7 on YouTube and other platforms using Labstream Radio. With this one, you can, you know, uh, create your own 24-7 live radio streams. Just like those on some on YouTube when you search it. So this is really simple uh, tutorial and I'm going to tell you a little bit the background of this. Livestream radio is formerly known as Pi Stream Radio which you can uh, use it from your Raspberry Pi but that, but the developer Torch2424 and its team expand the program and they make it work somewhat on other Linux distributions. So this is really simple, but in, in the first ones, when I set this thing up, it's complicated. Kind of like complicated, but it handled really well and really fine. I'm currently running a live stream right now on YouTube with this one. If you want to see it, I'm going to put the link in the video description below. So, alright, without further ado, let's start. Here is the getting started page, but I compiled all the codes here on this text file, which I'm going to upload later on on this video and you can download this on the bit on, on the link in the video description below so uh, let's go uh, first things first you need to go and choose wh what VPS provider or which VPS pro provider you're going to go to I recommend Vulture or DigitalOcean but if you currently have a VPS provider then you can use that the Linux flavor we're going to use is Debian 8.10 64-bit but you can use other uh, Linux distribution that you want but, but for simplicity's sake and, and if you want to follow along with the tutorial you can use Debian or Debian based uh, flavors such as Ubuntu and Mint but you, but once again you can use other Linux flavors just as CentOS but there is some little bit difference on codes so uh, that's why if you want to follow along with this tutorial, make sure that you use Debian or Debian based flavors. So let's start. So first things first, you need to go to and log in to your SSH program. I already done the uh, the configuration of this one. So first things first, you need to type in apt get update. This will update all the repositories on your system. To make sure that all of the packages are fresh and all of them are in their newest versions all right that's finished now type in app dash get upgrade this will upgrade all the packages inside your system and uh, making sure that it is on the newest version all right so as you can see we've just upgraded all of our um, applications now the next Thing we're going to do is we need to install NVM this is the node version manager now you can use curl or wget to install but I'm going to choose the curl command so I just copy and paste this one and there you go NVM has been installed now make sure that you uh, close your uh, terminal or potty if you're using Windows your SSH and make sure to re log in to make sure that uh, NVM is installed correctly and fine. To know that, type in command dash V NVM. If you see the NVM uh, text, you're good to go. Now, next one, we need to install Node.js LTS. You can do this by uh, typing NVM install dash dash LTS. This is the Node.js LTS version, and we need to install that. And after that, as you can see, uh, Node.js has been installed. Now, the next thing we're going to do right now is we need to compile and install FFMPEG. Now, this command, these codes are for uh, for Debian, Ubuntu, and Mint, the, uh, which is Debian and other Debian-based flavors. I'm going to put the link in the video description for other operating systems to compile and install FFMPEG. So this one, first things first, we need to go and get the dependencies. You don't need the sudo command, but we, I'm just going to go in and include it because we are on root. So as you can see, just hit enter and it will go through 
the process of installing all of its dependencies. Alright, so all the dependencies has been installed. Next one, uh, we need to go to and make uh, make a new directory to put all the source code and binaries from the F on um, on the ffmpeg source and bin. So uh, we're going to make this directory to to ensure all of these libraries and sources and other stuff will be put on those directories that which we're going to be created. So where is it right now? We're going to type in make dir ffmpeg source and bin. So as you can see. We have those folders right now has been created. So the next step right now we're going to go and compile all the required libraries. The next one here is NASM. The f that's the first one we need to compile and install. So just copy and paste the codes and wait until it installs. All right, NASM has been installed. Next one we're going to compile and install YASM. <laughs> I think I got it wrong. Anyway. Oops, that kind of error though. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. Oh man, I'm having some problems. Just wait for a minute. Alright, there you go. Uh, Yesum has. It's now installing. So, yeah, there's just some problems with the codes, but either way, I'm going to update the code here. Ta da! There you go. <laughs> Alright, so Yasm has been installed. Next one, we're going to go and install libx264. This is a video codec. So, uh, there you go. Let's do this way until it installs. And next one, we need to install libx265. So, I just to go and get and copy all those links. Alright, so libx265 has been installed. Next one, we're going to install libvpx. So we're going to go and copy and paste this code. Alright, so lib, uh, libvpx has been installed. Now we're going to go now to the audio codex. We need to install the AAC codec. Let's go and install it. Alright, so we've just been we just installed libfdkac. Next one we're going to go and install, compile and install libmp3, the mp3 encoder. So let's go. We're just going to continue compiling and installing all of this. Next one is libopus. Just going to go and copy and paste this. And the last code we're going to install is libaom. Now, this codec, you can skip this codec, but uh, if you want to make sure that all of them is installed, you can also include it. But in this tutorial, I'm going to include it, so let's install libaom. There you go. So, this is why I know you can skip this. Because there is a CMake error that 3.5 is high or higher is required. I don't know why CMake is not updated, so I'm just going to check for a little bit here. I can hmm. anyway so um I don't know why it's making that error you, you need the C 3.5 or higher is required but you can skip this you can skip this command now uh, next up we need to go and install ffmpeg so this is the stuff we're going to make uh, this is the codes that we're going to copy and paste to make sure that we uh that f uh that ffmpg will be installed so since we don't have lib aom you need to go and delete this uh this line here with the dash dash enable lib aom delete that so the process will go smoothly as planned so we just we just deleted the command and now we're going to go and Copy and paste the command to install ffmpeg. Let's go. Alright, so ffmpeg is now installed. So the next one we need to go and redirect 
uh, the ffmpeg to its new to the directory so copy and paste this command here and after that boom it's okay so this command allows you to uh, to direct where is the ffmpeg directory is located so yeah that's already finished next one is we need to fix permissions because uh, I encountered this problem that I cannot install live stream really because it's this permission denied so we're going to go and fix this permission for the first one we need to set the user to serial and we need to set the unsafe perm to true there you go next one is we can now install live stream radio so let's type in npm install dash g live stream radio so after that it will install live stream radio all right so live stream radio has been installed to confirm that we need to go and type this command there you go it's now installed so next one we're going now to generate the my stream uh, document which is we're going to go type in cd to go to our root directory and copy this one live dash stream dash radio dash dash generate my stream and after that it will generate the demo f all of the demo files from the my stream and it's now project created now next one we need to find the mpeg location and configure my stream because it's important because we're going to configure the json file so first is first we need to go and type in where is uh, ffmpeg as you can see ffmpeg is on root bin ffmpeg so um just copy it and paste it on a word document first or a text document because we're going to need that we're just going to clear to avoid any messy uh, com terminal commands now next one if you don't have nano you need to type in install nano after you can install nano if, if you don't have nano but if you have nano you can skip that N next one type in cd my stream change directory to my stream and click type in nano config that json so as you can see here on the ffmpeg path you need to paste in the um the path of ffmpeg which we've which we've discovered earlier there you go and um leave video and audio codecs audio bitrate sample bitrate and of course i'm going to create another tutorial for this one which is more comprehensive so uh we're going to go and stream on youtube but you can replace this stream url and make sure that you leave this stream key because this is the the append one so i'm just going to go and go to my lab dashboard and um reveal the stream name and key and make sure that you uh paste the stream key on this one i'm going to leave the all of them by default i'm going to create an tutorial on this one for uh i'm going to create another tutorial uh for more of this one the comprehensive one so we're going to go and save it Control x and type in yes then enter and config json is now uh has been saved with our parameters next one last one we need to go and make it 24 7 so type in cd app install screen app dash get install screen and wait next one type in screen and type in live stream radio start my stream and it will start the live stream and as you can see on this one if you go on the youtube live dashboard right now you're going to see the stream is now starting and it will now receive the content as you can see we are now live so uh we're just going to play it a little bit so that's about it guys and if you want to tune in for another one uh subscribe to my channel to uh to tune in to this station which i'm going to go and uh and see you on the next part of the tutorial for the comp for the more comprehensive guide of live stream radio so that's about it guys so the video please like comment and subscribe and subscribe to the channel and as always see you again on the next video bye bye you can see we're streaming now <laughs>